Hey students. Today we are going to be doing an art project that has to do with the fact that Jack Hanna is retiring. I know we've been learning about him this week. He is an expert working with wild and exotic animals. So our art project is going to have to do with some wild and exotic animals. So it's going to be really fun. So today you're going to need to get your art project number nine. So have your helper help you find art project number nine. And you are also going to need your art supply bag. So while your helper is finding art project number nine with the wild animals in it and your art supply bag, and they're also going to need to get you a little, a little cup of water. And the, so while they're doing that, while they're helping you find your water, art project number nine and your art supply bag, we're going to do a few stretches. So let's start by putting one air in the air and one hand on our hip, and we are going to tip. Tipping. One, two, three, four, five. Woo let's tip again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm going to put this hand on my hip, and I'm going to use this one as my pointer. Okay, let's tip the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Up again and tipping. One, two, three, four, five. And up we go. All right, let's take our hands and we're going to stretch as stretchy as we can. We're going to try to touch the ceiling. So reaching high, reaching high. Feel the stretch in your arms and down. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see how tall we can make our arms. And we are stretching. All right. Whoa. That was a very good stretch. All right, let's take one arm over the other, and we're going to grab it with the back of our hand, and we're going to stretch our shoulders. Kind of pulling on that shoulder just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now, let's take this arm. Oops, this. Oh, I'm so dyslexic. Take this arm, we're going to stretch this one. So kind of pull on your shoulder a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Very, very good. We can kind of shake our arms out a little bit. Now, let's give ourselves a giant squeeze. Oh, squeezing hard like a big bear hug. A bear being another wild animal. Oh. Okay. Now, let's just do a few deep cleansing breaths. Breathe in through your nose like you're smelling a flower. And out through your mouth like you're blowing out a candle. In. Out. In. Out. One more time. In. And out. Mm, that felt really good. So I hope you have your supplies now. So I'm going to take my art pack number nine. And I'm going to take out a piece of paper. So you should all have some paper that looks like this. And I gave you two wild animals. Now, you can choose which wild animal you like the best. Or you can try to squeeze both of them on the same piece of paper. Everybody's got different animals. Some have elephants. Some have rhinoceroses or lions or giraffes. So I cut you out a few. So I'm going to put these on my table because I don't need them yet. I'm going to put my giraffes down. I'm going to take my piece of paper, set it down. I've got my water and my paintbrush. 
Now, we need to get our paint. So let's get our paints out. And we also are going to need our glue stick. So I'll wait a sec while you get those out. And I'll remind you again of all the things we need. We need our paper. We need our cutouts of our wild animal. We need our cup that has water in it for our brushes. Our glue stick. And our paint. I'm going to open my paint so I can get ready. Okay, I'm going to tip my camera down onto the table so you can see the art project. So you won't see my face, but you'll hear my voice. So let me tip this down. There we go. So here's our paper and our paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be dipping my brush in my water. And then I'm going to choose a color. I think I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm going to make some color stripes across my paper. I'm going to do like this. And just put my paint in some little stripes. And I'm going to use lots of colors for mine. So let's see here. So I'm going to do some more of this yellow on my stripe. I like that. Probably can't see it very well, but see, there's some yellow. It's not very dark. My yellow is kind of, I'm kind of starting to run out of paint. All right, now I'm going to rinse my brush. That's weird on my brush. Now I'm going to choose my orange. Now you can choose what colors you want. I'm just going to kind of make mine go from my lightest color down to my darker colors. So I'm going to make my orange orangey. Okay, so now I'm going to do another stripe. So see, now I have my yellow and I have my orange. And I'm going to dip a little water again, and I'm going to get me some red. So let me kind of stir my red up. Ooh, there's my red. And I'm going to do some red stripes. Oh, see my colors I have? I have yellow and orange and red. Tap my brush off a little because I don't want my paper to get too wet. So now I'm going to do some purple. I'm getting a lot of purple on here. Sometimes you got to do a lot of stirring to get the color good on your brush. There. Okay, now I'm going to do some purple lines. I like that. Maybe I chose not to dip my brush this time because I kind of want my blue and my purple to blend a little bit. And now I'm going to do some blue. I didn't get a ton of blue on my brush, probably because it wasn't so wet. All right, now for my very last color, I'm going to get some green. I don't have a lot of green left in my paints. Apparently, I like green, and I've been using a lot of it. Let's see how much green I can get out of my green bin here. I'm going to paint my green all the way to the bottom. There we go. I'm going to take my purple and I'm going to kind of run a little purple between my blues. And I'm going to run a little bit of red between my purple. 
I'm going to run a little bit of orange between my red and orange. I'm just trying to blend them a little bit. You know, a sunset kind of blends the colors. There's not direct lines. And now I'm going to do a little yellow between my orange and my yellow. There we go. So now my paper sort of looks like it's a little bit like a rainbow, huh? Once you kind of mix your colors together a little bit. So mine's still a little wet, so I'm going to kind of fan it off. Some of you, your paper might be more dry, and some of them it might be a lot more wet, because I know some of you guys really like to use a lot of water. <laughs> so we'll just wave it around a little. Ooh, some of my colors are running. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll fan the other way, too. Hey, that gives it a fun look, doesn't it? A little bit this way too. I'm just trying to help it dry up a little bit before I try to add my wild animal to my picture. All right. It's still a little wet, but I think it'll be fine. I do love these giraffes. I don't know if I can get them both on. I don't think so. So I think I'm just going to choose one giraffe. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of them. So a little glue on his head and his neck and his body. A little glue on his legs. I might get a little on my table. I'll just have to wash it up later. So see, I'm getting my glue rubbed all over my giraffe here. All right. So now I'm going to stick my giraffe on my pitcher and try not to touch my paints because they're wet. I just want to touch my giraffe. And here's my giraffe walking in Africa through a beautiful sunset. And I bet your, your exotic animal is going to look really cool too on your paper. I would love to see what they look like when they're all done. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our art project. I will see you guys later. Have a great day and enjoy your wonderful wild animal print. Bye.